Biomimicry is the imitation of nature to solve engineering problems. So the classic example of that is Velcro, which was developed after some cockleburrs stuck to the inventor's clothing. But there are also numerous other examples of that on a wide range of scales. So for example, the Eastgate Centre in Harare is um, a big building that doesn't have any air conditioning, but regulates its temperature based on the same methods that a termite mound uses. There's also um, self-cleaning paints that have been developed in, to copy the surface of a lotus leaf. So it has tiny microscopic bumps that force the water to run straight off it. And even Leonardo da Vinci tried to copy bat swings when he was trying to make a human flying machine. It's recent advances in imaging and analytical techniques that allow us to learn about these designs in nature um, on a level of detail that would have previously been unimaginable. Um, so for example, you can look in detail at the inside of um, 3D structures using CT, CT scans, or you can use electron microscopes to study minuscule surface properties. Um, we also have the computational power to model the convection currents that you might get in a termite mound, for example. Um, and crucially, the final piece of the puzzle is having the capability to copy these designs. So thanks to recent advantages in nanofabrication techniques and material science, we can now do that. Um, but in my opinion, the time is ripe for us to move beyond the haphazard inspired by nature approach that gave us Velcro and actually start to actively look for solutions to our problems in nature. So whenever you're faced with a challenge, you should always think, has someone already solved this? And what I'm saying is we should extend that search and look at, has nature already solved this? Because nature's been evolving its billions of creatures for billions of years and has already faced all the challenges that life has thrown at it. Whilst in comparison, humans have been engineering products for a blink of an eye in comparison. So I think it's time that we should move on from just being inspired by nature and start to actually learn from nature.